G'day everyone, day two of my circuit per day advent 2011. As you can see here it's a simple audio amplifier, something you might throw together when you quickly need a, an amplifier for say a, a radio or something that you've just built. Very simple circuit, three transistors, a um, bit of feedback to uh, provide the bias for the first transistor and a current setting resistor here, um, some resistors here to stabilize the uh, bias for temperature and bootstrapping of the, the voltage uh, supply to the, the actual biasing divider so that on positive going excursions it doesn't uh, run out of voltage across this transistor's uh, base emitter junction. So a pretty common circuit, uh, you've probably seen it elsewhere and I've certainly used it quite a lot in some of the projects on my website. Uh, many of my radio receivers have something fairly similar to this. Anyway, um, I thought I'd throw this together for day two because it can be used in uh, some of our other projects later on and uh, it's not not a particularly powerful amplifier or a particularly low you know high audio file quality low distortion device but uh, it does the job I uh, I put it together also because the local grocery store was uh, giving away these free passive speakers that you plug into your you know iDevice or some other form of uh, device there, 32 ohms, um, mylar, well, actually they're fairly heavy, I haven't taken them apart, they, they might not be mylar, they might actually be small magnetic um, paper cone drivers, but they're, uh, they're reasonably good sounding ones, and uh, they're, they're obviously stereo, they appear to be 32 ohms, but uh, again I haven't measured it with much, um, you know, with any instrumentation. The uh, standard 3.5mm audio jack, so I'm just using um, the two of them in series and leaving the, the ground open. And here is a little circuit. As you can see, pretty much as exact, exactly as I drew it. It's uh, just three transistors, a bunch of resistors, um, you know, bench sweepings really. So let's put some audio through it. I've got my uh, rusty old signal generator up here. I'll uh, let's put a kilohertz or so tone through it. Let's see what happens. Certainly does the job. Um, works pretty well with with music and uh, voice and you know, any other signal you like to you put through it. So it should be uh, should be useful for our upcoming projects. Alrighty, this is going to stay a quick one. As always, the uh, the details will be on my website with more discussion and you know, general hints about how you would uh, go about constructing the circuit and what to do when it doesn't work. Alrighty, uh, tomorrow. Well, we'll see. Perhaps uh, some RF related things tomorrow? Anyway, till then, bye.